Now, there's nothing hotter in dance music or even uh, hip hop right now more powerful than a trombone hit or some some deep brass uh, on the one. And uh, anyways, let me show you what I'm going for here. So on the one, uh, usually there's like a big brass hit and it's overused like crazy and people just go with a preset. I don't know if they use contact or whatever, but anyways, I'm just going to show you the way I found to spice up the sound a bit, um, break it up from the norm that you're hearing. Anyways, just a, a EXS 24, the trombone staccato, of course, load that up and you hear this. Oh yeah, that's pretty weak. Okay. Anyways, we would never leave that in. So what I've done is Put an ensemble on there, a little bit of overdrive right before a bit crush, uh, just makes it really fat. And then what I would call the backbone of this sound is a reverb plugin. This is one that I prefer to use. It's by Native Instruments. It's called Replica. It's the older version. I know they have a new, fancier version out now, but this one does just fine for me. Take the wormhole plugin or anything long. This thing's got to be like at least a 12 second. Uh, reverb and cut the wet dry all the way up 100% and I bounce that in place and it's very simple it's this is what we ended up with Okay, anyways, uh, <laughs> forgive this song. It's just uh, something I'm... It's in very early stages right now. Anyways, you heard it did to that sound. It turned it from this, just dud. This is just a dud. Brown. <laughs> so dumb. Into this. So that reverb uh, technique, I use so much on uh, so many different things from sounds to just in harmonic sounds like sound effects um to vocals like this one right here this is a stock um uh, apple loop Baby. Uh, it's pretty spectacular anyways uh i matched the key put a little bit i took a a problem note out that E was making it sound funky. A uh, little ensemble and then the space designer with some compression afterwards and you hear this. So what you want, you want to bounce it in place like this. And then take the very tail of it, right? Right where the actual sound stops right here. Move that, and then you can move this. Uh, I did it once before, it's over here. I put it right there. I don't know, it's not lined up to the grid, anyways. What you hear is something like this, it's texture, it's great texture, it's kind of like dissonant. You can't really tell what it is. If you hadn't have heard that vocal sample, it'd be hard to tell exactly what that sound was. Uh, I like that, and add a little. Here we go. This is what I like. I, I put it right on the... Just a little extra in the background. You hear that? So anyways, you can do that to seriously any sound you want. You can even reverse it. Uh, I did that to these chords. That same thing. Let's see. So yeah. And then have that going. Oh, hang on a second have this leading into the drop like this yeah anyways uh that's it for today really quick really simple get that reverb and bounce it in place or freeze it whatever you want to do um according to your daw i'm not sure exactly what it's called but in logic it's that control b to bounce it in place you trim it up throw some compression on it and you're good to go Give that a shot.